Just brief us on the, the meeting you had with um, some leaders of the city. Sure. Well, first of all, this wasn't the first meeting that we've had, not the first conversation. There's been many between uh, the mayor, the chief, the DA about uh, you know, the, uh, the unfortunate incident that took place at Destiny on Black Friday. And I just want to say, you know, this it, it wasn't the first time we spoke after the incident happened. We're constantly in communication with the city and the Syracuse PD about the importance of safety uh, at Destiny. It's of the utmost concern to us as the uh, owners of the property uh, and to our patrons. So we're in constant communication about what is being done and what we can always do to make it better out there. A lot of people, like the DA, say it feels safe at the mall. But there are other people that say it doesn't feel safe. What do you say to the people who don't feel that it's safe? Well, you know, we want everybody to feel very comfortable to come there. Uh, we spend a great deal of time and money on providing a safe environment out there. It's a big place. Uh, tens of millions of people visit the shopping center every year. And when you have big crowds like that, you get all different types of, of patrons to it. Um, you know, some people don't like big crowds. Uh, some people don't like certain certain types of, of um, uh, patrons that are there. You know, we can't we can't control that. Uh, Destiny is um, you know, it's a very popular place. It's an international tourism destination, and we're constantly working for ways to make it very uh, not only comfortable but also provide uh, all the attributes that a, that a facility like that should have in terms of the offerings. You haven't been afraid to spend money on Syracuse police officers, now on probation officers, but are you willing to go the next step and put a public police station in the mall? Uh, well, there has been a, a substation at Destiny for over 20 years. It's there, it's in, the, uh, it's in the mall today, it's actively used today. So there has been a substation at the mall for quite some time. Can we see it? Uh, you know, let, let me talk to, you know, the Syracuse PD and our own PD, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's there and it has been doing its job for a long, long time. And what are the capabilities there, the ability to detain people, arrest them, book them, like we've seen at other malls? Yes. Okay. And I guess my last question is, um, there's been, the police department is, is happy with how the response to Black Friday went, mm -hmm. but we are hearing stories about people who were stuck in stores, worried about how they were communicated or not communicated to in a timely fashion. What can be improved about the way things unfolded on Black Friday in any kind of scary situation like that? Well, it, you know, again, I can't stress enough how unfortunate the incident was that occurred. It was an isolated incident between two known parties. That incident could have taken place as easy on any corner within the city as it did, unfortunately, in, in the food court on Black Friday. You have to appreciate there were there were thousands, tens of thousands of people in the mall when that incident occurred. I think our security force and the Syracuse PD did an amazing job reacting to it instantly and trying to coordinate uh, uh, an incident like that and an eventual uh, evacuation of the mall for tens of thousands of people. It's a huge task. It's difficult to uh, communicate word what's going on. Safety first, precaution first. Uh, and then communicate that it's time to leave, that all is safe. Um, it, it all occurred in a relatively short period of time considering the scale of the building and the quantity of people involved. Uh, I think they did a great job of um, evacuating the, the building in a very orderly way. It's difficult to communicate with people on a real-time basis exactly what's going on. You have to be careful. You don't send the wrong messages out if you don't know exactly what's going on. But anything you do differently in that regard? There's always ways you can take a look to be more efficient in terms of what you do. Um, I will say that you know the mall security, the Syracuse PD, uh, other agencies constantly practice you know security scenarios at the mall and make sure that you know it's an immediate and efficient response to whatever situation may occur out there. Anything else you'd like to add? Not this, not this time. I appreciate it.